A lot of women go into relationships blaming the man as to why they're not happy, but they fail to realize the Next Door Podcast. Welcome back to the Next Door Podcast. I am Bestie Next Door, and I'm like your bestie next door. If you like your tea to be extra, extra sweet, then this place is not for you. Because we like our tea to be sweet and bitter. Sweet enough that it goes down, bitter enough to wake us up. Guys, you guys know I've been gone for a while. If you follow me on Instagram, then you see I post a lot of stories on there. You know, I talk about a whole bunch of different things. And, you know, I've been saying I wanted to take a break. But I feel like every time I say I want to take a break, I don't take a break. So I decided to say, you know what? I'm just going to go cold turkey. I'm not going to post. Because I'm working on my weight loss. I'm working and glowing up. And if you could see me, you see I'm in a better energy than I was in February. Because, you know, the thing is, is that I really do be... I'm really hard on myself off of line, like about, you know, my goals and where I should be in life. And um, I realized, you know what? Life is not that serious. And ever since I started taking that approach and I've just been kind of like practicing what I preach, like, you know, really taking time with myself, meditating, being more happy, just focusing, refocusing myself. I've been having a different glow. Bitch, let me tell you, my skin off makeup, without makeup, it's been given. If you look at, follow me on my Bam Not Bestie TikTok account. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. I usually post videos on there without makeup. You'll see my skin, glass, bitch, glass. My energy, it's at the all-time high. And you know why? Because I get to have my American honey and Red Bull, bitch. Girl, you know when this combination come out? I am on that timing, and I'm so happy I'm able to have it. You know, when I told you guys the story of what happened to me in February, I was kind of, I was, you know, resilient, but, you know, still kind of, like, going through the whiffs and raps because, you know, I had to lose the weight, and I'm still currently going through my whole weight loss stuff or whatever, whatever, but 13 kgs and less in, like, six weeks, I'm doing the goddamn thing. I'm definitely going to have, like, a course. I want to do, like, a glow-up course because I feel like, Maybe a lot, maybe most of you may need it. I'm not going to price it high. 99, 99 97 That's it. $100. Boom. You're going to know all the secrets to lose weight quick, to glow up, to just be better mentally. Because in such a short period of time, I was able to turn myself around mentally as far as like just being who I am, being more grounded, and just living life at ease and not being worried about a lot. Like, I'm not worried about much. You know what I'm saying? And I think that that's really important when it comes to life. And I want to give you guys this free gem. One movie that helped me get to this point. It's kind of very silly. But if you're like a deep diver and if you understand, like, the context behind movies and you dive in deep when you watch a movie, watch this movie called Everything All At Once. Watch it. It really helped me kind of, like, understand that at the end of the day, the day going to end. And at the end of the day... Life continues. And at the end of the day, all problems solve itself. And that is like one of the best advices I can give you guys. You guys know that I speak to you guys about a lot. You guys, if you've been listening to me for a while, you know I give you a lot of advice. But me going through this hardship in my life and actually you see me overcome it should give you the motivation you need to overcome whatever it is you're going through in life. And guys, I already cracked open my American honey. You know what I'm saying? Like this bottle was already open from like days ago. So I just opened it again and I already poured myself up a glass. Well, a cup because now, you know, I was doing cups and cups and of course I'm going back to cups. But this summer, I feel like I'm a two cup red cup girl. Two cup red cup girl. I'm a red cup girl. Two cups. It can't be one because one is too light. You know, big body two cups you know what i'm saying so it's given like you know not the styrofoam i feel like the styrofoam is a little bit ghetto you know too hood but like the two red cup is giving classy is giving i'm drinking something that's making me tell the truth i'm drinking something that's not gonna have me on my ass it makes me sassy it makes me feel sexy because that's what american honey does american honey and red bull with ice you cannot have it without ice it has to be with ice when you're sipping this when you want to tell someone your mind, you're going to be able to tell them your mind effortlessly. You're going to enter this alter ego. Like, I have another alter ego. I have two alter egos, actually. My alter ego is Peppa. Peppa is the alter ego that comes out at night, and Bam is by any means necessary. Bam is like, we're going to get this money. We're going to get this body. Bam is like my motivation, my motivation alter ego, while Peppa is that sexy. Like, you see her, you like, damn, I want to give her all my money. That's who Peppa is. <laughs> And let's sit to that. Guys, I've also been so focused on 
this whole digital marketing thing. I don't know if you guys have been seeing it trending, but it's been trending like crazy. That's also what I've been doing facelessly. And I decided to share the course. When you get into the community, they tell you you can't sell it for less than three eighty seven. And buying it at seven hundred, even though like you know the person who I bought it from, you're making double the profit. But I feel like for me, it's only right that I give it to you guys at that same price you know what i'm saying so click the link in my bio the first link is the you're gonna get access to the course the community of over thirteen thousand people it's affordable don't say you can't afford 397 because that 397 you're paying you literally can make the money right back they teach you how to set up a store instantly if you want to start selling instantly and make your recoup your investment you can start selling instantly it's all up to you you make that investment there's also payment plans you will see the difference. I personally, if I, listen, I made last week, I made, and this is off of, like, on my Facebook account, I made, like, $2,000 on my Facebook account last week. For some of you, that extra $2,000, 3000 4000 $5,000 is going to be very beneficial. So I suggest you to make this investment. And when you make the investment, don't be so, oh, I need to make my money tomorrow. I need to make my money the next day. Just do it with ease. And when you do it with ease, trust me, you're going to see the money roll in. And you can literally resell the course for something higher. You can sell it for 700 You can sell it for 600 You don't have to sell it for 397 But you can't sell it lower than that amount. They are going to lock you out. They've sent general emails and they've been telling they've been seeing people trying to sell it for lower than that and they literally lock them out the account. You can sell it for however much you want to or however high you would like, depending on your industry, your niche, whatever, whatever. Because I'm Bessie next door, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna cutthroat you guys like that. I ain't gonna cutthroat you guys. Even though I was cutthroat, but it's okay because I just use my man's credit card. <laughs> Anyways, so guys, let's get into today's topic. I wanted to talk about this because I feel like it's so important and I think that, I mean, I've mentioned it on my other videos, but I'm coming at this topic from a different point of view again, right? Because you guys see me in different transitional periods in my life before, you know, when I was dating, you know, I was pregnant and I'm being engaged, blah, 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 still in, you know, married, blah, blah, blah. But I want to tell you this, and this is what I've learned, and I'm telling you, I've lived through this. And you guys know I'm like an open book, and you guys use me as a way to avoid making unnecessary mistakes. Do not date if you know you're not happy with yourself. Do not date when you are coming from a place of lack. Let me explain. And don't get married either for that. Because you know what? A lot of women and girls get married and into relationships for the wrong reason. And they end up picking the wrong person. Let me explain. If you know you can't even afford to get your hair done, get your nails done yourself which is why most of you need to get the digital marketing course so you can start affording to live the life you want and make money digitally, right? Let's say you can't even afford those things. Let's say you can't even afford to live on your own. Now, when you get into a relationship with someone that can give you that, whether it be, oh, you want to move out your parents' house, you're now going to date men that can provide you that stability of, yes, you can move in with me. However, there's going to be an exchange. And what's going to be that exchange? You're going to either deal with a narcissistic guy, a guy who's abusive, a guy who's a serial cheater. You see, there's difference between someone cheating on you and a serial cheater. A serial cheater have no, little to no respect for you because he knows you're dependent on him. There's a difference between needing a man and being dependent. Two different things. You see, when a man knows that he is your one-stop shop, he's going to drag you through the mud. And you don't want to be dragged through the mud. You see, you got to be smart. Meeting a man is knowing that you're in my life and you're providing value. Depending on a man is I have no choice but to depend on you. Because that's how men take advantage. When they know that you are dependent on feeding, breathing. You never want to be dependent on a man for living and breathing. That you can't, if you don't, if he's not around, you can't eat, you can't sleep. Never. I reject it. And let me tell you something. As I'm in different, I'm, as I'm in currently in my relationship, still with my man, nothing ain't, nothing ain't changed. One thing that I know is different is this. When I started being happy outside of my relationship, my relationship started being more better. When I stop looking for things to be upset about with him or stop looking for things like, oh, he did this or stop pointing the finger, I started being more happy. And that's the advice I want to give you all. Start finding happiness within yourself before you start dating. 
before you start getting married. Decenter yourself from your relationship. The moment you stop caring about, oh, he's texting this girl or he's doing this, he's doing that. I promise you, you're going to have a different level of peace. Because now, when you get to that state of peace and happiness with yourself, your man's going to be looking at you like, what you doing? Who are you talking to? Are you cheating on me? Are you talking to somebody else? He's going to start being the investigator. And when he's the investigator, now he's going to start doing the things you want him to do. Some women may feel like, oh, I don't, I don't want to feel like I want to play all these games. It's not about playing games. It's about being smart. This is chess, not checkers. You're never going to get a perfect man. And that's what you got to understand. You have to understand, like, I want you guys to really understand this. All this Prince Charming that most of you are chasing or most of you are listening to online is the reason why most of you are staying single. Because you don't understand that you're never going to find a perfect man. You got to pick your baggage according to your size. Pick your poison. You want a rich man? Understand that you're not going to, he's not going to have enough time. You want a handsome man? Understand that it's going to be a lot of girls that like him. You want... Whatever it is you want is always going to be a cause and effect because there's never going to be a good without the bad. And that's what I had to realize. There's never going to be a good without the bad. Bad things happen as much as... Like, like right now, you may have a lot of negative things happening to you, but just know that good things are coming. Cheers to that. So don't so basically what do we learn ladies we learn that don't date when you are feeling lonely don't date when you are in lack because you're going to end up choosing the wrong guy and you do not want to choose the wrong man I can speak from ex- I can speak from experience, you know, in my last relationship and my ex fiance. You guys know the story, right? I don't like going through the story, but because I was so desperate to kind of like move and be on my own, I took whatever came to me, and that's what happens when you're when you're lonely. When you're lonely and you're looking for love, you're going to take whatever comes your way, even though it's trash. Love is not meant to be searched for. It's meant to search for you. The most organic and long-lasting relationships are the relationships that are spontaneous, that happen when you least expect it. But when you're looking like, oh, I need a man. Oh, I need to get married. Bougie. Okay. My dog wants to be involved. When you're dating from a place of, oh, I need a man. Oh, I need to be married in the next year. That's when you're going to end up in a relationship or a marriage you don't want. Be at peace with yourself. Be happy with yourself. And even when you are in a relationship, don't... For those of you that are either married or in a relationship, stop looking for things to be angry about. Stop looking for things to fight your man about. Be happy with yourself. You should be focused on your goals. If you and that man do not have the same goals in life about how you guys want to raise a family or how you guys want to live a life, then don't be with him. Next caller. A lot of you are staying in relationships just because you don't want to be lonely. And that's why you're unhappy in that relationship because you can't be happy with yourself. And when you cannot be happy with yourself, how are you going to feel fulfilled or happy in a relationship? A lot of you, and you guys know I be bouncing from different topic to topic. You know when it's American Honey get in my system, I be bouncing from topic to topic. And this is the reason why most of you or and and I want to say this. This is why majority of the young girls, and when I say young girls, I'm talking about girls below 25, go for older men. Because they have unresolved daddy issues. That's why they're like, oh, I'd rather date someone that's 50. I'd rather date someone that's 60. When you think about it, and I, I just like thinking about these things because I, I always talk about this older guy dating thing, and I talk about it a lot because I know that there's a lot of girls that are like under 25 that listen to me as well. As much as there's millennials my age that listen to me and kind of already passed it. So I, I like to keep repeating this because I know there's going to be a young girl that's listening to me and going to be like, yeah, that resonates with me. Stop going for these old, old men especially in your early 20s. When you're like late 20s and 30s, it's different. It's a different ball game because you kind of know who you are. You know yourself. You're able to call BS when you see it. But when you're like 20, 21 and you're dating someone that's 45 and you're like, oh, I'm here because of this. I'm here because of that. You have unresolved daddy issues that you need to solve because there's no reason why you're dating someone the same age as your father. It makes no sense. 
But when you're in your late 20s and you're in your 30s, it's different when you're dating someone older because you're more mature. So you know how to go about the situation. But when you're 21, what the hell are you doing dating someone that's old enough to be your father? You need to go solve those daddy issues. Because clearly you have some daddy issues because there's no reason why you're dating someone that's your father's age. Solve them daddy issues and then start dating. And when I say too old, I mean, you know what I mean. I'm not talking about a guy that's 28 and you're 21. I'm not talking about a guy that's 30 and you're 21. I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about guys that you know is old enough to be your father. And I'm talking about you're being 21, you're dating someone that's 40, 50. No. So before you even think about getting married and being in a relationship, ask yourself, are you happy with yourself? Would you date yourself? Because most of the time, a lot of women ignore that fact. They go into relationships unhappy and blame the man for why they're not happy. But realistically, you're not happy with yourself. Bougie. You're doing everything but being a dog. A lot of women go into relationships blaming the man as to why they're not happy. But they fail to realize that when they enter the relationship, they weren't even happy with themselves. So you got to find joy. In order to enjoy a relationship, you have to find joy within yourself. Because the moment you find joy within yourself, you're not going to be nitpicking your partner for every little thing. You're going to be like, you know what? That's fine. I'm about to do this anyway. That's fine. The communication, the understanding is better when you're at peace with yourself and you're not looking for something to be upset at with your partner hello i'm saying a word and i don't want to take too long i just want to hit a few more points i want to hit a point and then we're done because i wasn't supposed to come till june i wanted to wait till i finished my whole you know what i'm saying glow up course and glow up book whatever before i came back i was like you know what the girls need me the girls need me as a woman, you should not be entering any relationship with a man if you're broke and have low self-esteem. Fix your confidence and fix your income because the moment you go into a relationship insecure, broke, you're going to end up in the wrong hands. And I'm saying a word. Hello. You guys know it. But when you're confident, because look, listen, and when you're confident, you got your own little money that you're making and you're able to sustain yourself, you have, you're at a certain level. So you're only going to attract a guy that is better because money likes money. Let's be real. Money likes money. So if you're broke and you can't even afford to do your own nails, you can't even afford to put yourself in an Uber. You shouldn't be thinking about, oh, I need to get into a relationship so a man can help you. You need to be thinking about how you can better yourself first so you can attract the guy that's going to bring you up. But when you're on ground zero, you're only going to attract ground zero, which is the bums, the dusties. That's what you're going to attract. So you got to focus on, damn, how can I become more confident? Is it me losing more weight? Is it me learning how to do my makeup? Do I need to do these? Once you're on that journey, I promise you, you're going to come back to my video. You're going to be like, oh my God, bestie, you're so right. Because now I got this rich man who's willing to buy me a car. I could afford a driver and I could afford an Uber, but now I got a man looking to buy me a car because... You have to, first of all, be able to invest in yourself in order for someone to want to invest in you. Because if you're not willing to invest in yourself, why would someone else want to invest in you if you're not even willing to invest in your own self? That's how people think. Understand, money likes money. Money likes money. So if you know money likes money, you need to know how to package yourself. You need to be confident. You need to have your own little money first in order for you to find a man with money. Because when you have your own little money... First, you, all the but, the dusties, I was like, oh, I can pay for your Uber. Oh, I can pay for your little $50 meal. You're going to look at them like, um, sir, next call. I can do that myself. You're going to start getting the guys that are like, hey, meet me in Italy for some brunch. You're going to start getting the guys that are like, hey, I want to buy you a car. Or, hey, meet me in Italy for a vacation, for a weekend getaway. Or, hey, meet me in Miami. You're going to start meeting those guys. But you got to get yourself to a certain level. Before you enter a relationship, you need to be confident and happy with yourself. And you need to have some type of financial stability. You don't need to be all the way sorted, but just have some type of financial stability just so you're not attracting a dusty man. Because remember, energies are alike. What you 
project is what's going to be projected back to you. If you're operating from a place of lack as a woman, you're going to get a man that also don't have enough. But when you're operating from the highest frequency, confident, and you got your own little motion, like, you know, I could afford certain things. Like, yeah, I could afford my own little Uber XL. I could afford this. I could afford that. Trust me, you're going to find a man, even though you don't have a car. Because you can't afford an Uber XL and you can afford an Uber on your own, you will find that man that will buy you that car. Hello. Guys, this American honey is chef kiss. And I'm going to leave you with that. If you're listening on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, thank you for listening. If you're watching here with me on YouTube, thank you for watching. You can see you can see the glow. Don't worry. I'm going to come up. I'm going to come I'm going to come to you with the whole chorus, a whole little, you know what I'm saying? And if you don't if you don't get it, then you sleeping. Cuz you can see the results. You know what I'm saying? You can see the results. I clearly know what I'm doing cuz it's not taking me that long. What, just a month? Hello. And you guys know the rest. Until we meet again.